Hello friends, this is Paper Spock, and I'm going to start trying to do Marvel Snap games. I've done several test episodes where I've recorded and tried to explain it, and they end up kind of running long, and I just got thinking my internet upload speeds mean that it's probably for the better if I do it short. And these games are really short, so I'm going to try to do one at a time and see how that goes. I'm going to try to explain some things along the way, but, you know, I'm probably not going to explain everything. Hopefully the game isn't too hard to jump into figuring out, though. So, the point of the game is basically there's going to be three locations, and I'm going to want to try to win a majority of the locations. So, two of the three is usually how it goes. And there's our first location, which is revealed as Tinkerer's Workshop, which gives me one energy. I spend energy to play cards. This first turn, I have four choices of cards, but only one card do I have enough energy to play, but that card works by destroying other cards. So... It's not really good for me to play this turn, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to see if there's any better opportunity to play it. My opponent snapped. That basically just means they made it a higher stakes game, because the number at the top of the screen is how many points you're playing for. And either person, once in the game, is able to double that amount. I'm glad I waited, because I can put down Bucky now. And Bucky Barnes is a card that, when it's destroyed, it gets replaced with the Winter Soldier, which is even stronger. So that is wonderful. I can play Carnage, and I can get a really good deal there. That's what I'm going to do. Play Carnage. Carnage is a card that's going to destroy other cards and gain two power for each card destroyed. It's just going to become a four energy card. I mean a four power card. Left number's energy. Right number is the power. And in destroying Bucky Barnes, I'm going to get the Winter Soldier, so that's going to be a two for one. Also, my opponent played this Wizard. And Lizard gets weaker if I manage to fill up this location. So I kind of want to fill up this location on the left. I have a good way of doing that. I have a good possible way of doing that. I'm thinking if I want to go that route or not. I think I am just going to put down the Enchantress here at the middle location. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. My opponent's done several things. And I've done several things for my opponent. I have inactivated some ongoing effects my opponent's had, which was powering up these other two locations. They put down Warpath, which means if any of their locations are empty, they gain four power. So, what I'm going to do... I can't play that just yet. Uh, I'm behind in all my locations. I'm going to... Mm. I'm going to put that down. Sunspot. Ooh. Okay, I have permanently lost that location. Unfortunately. However, I think I'm going to lose this, so I'm going to retreat. Because what, what I was planning on doing is I put down Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin is a card that's negative points, but it gets sent to your opponent on reveal. So it would get sent over to my opponent. They would have negative eight. This card would also lose power, because if any of your locations are empty plus four power, it would go down by four, it would be a tie. Okay, but that's the best case scenario. That's what I was hoping to do, but even if I do that, we would have a tie in that I would be winning at this location. We would tie here, they would win here. But when there's a tie, what the game does is it says, is someone winning one of their locations by more than the other? They would be winning by 108 versus 9, so they'd be winning by... They'd be winning by well over 90, and so that's not going to be great for me. They'd be winning by 99, so I will lose. So I'm going to retreat. There's no way for me to win this. I will lose two Cosmic Cubes. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next episode.